Liechtenstein is not only one of the smallest nations on the European continent, it is also one of only two double landlocked countries in the whole world, sharing this mantle with Uzbekistan. Its size also means that it isn't at the forefront of the tourist trail through Europe, and that's not really surprising because it doesn't have a raft of attractions like many of its counterparts. In fact, the majority of tourism in Liechtenstein is through Malbin, a ski resort in the southeast. But if you're not planning on hitting the slopes yet Liechtenstein is a destination still on your radar, I've put together a list of things that you should see in Europe's fourth or smallest country. So here are five things you have to do in Liechtenstein. Number one, Rheinpark Stadion. Rheinpark Stadion is the home of football in Liechtenstein, hosting games for the national team as well as FC Vadosh, the country's biggest football team, even though they play their games in Switzerland's league system. If you're planning on going to Liechtenstein, I'd try lining it up when one of its two major teams are playing, because it is one of the best things to do when you're there, in my opinion. I realise that not everyone is a football fan, but catching a game in Liechtenstein is a rare sporting experience and one that you should do. Number 2, Liechtenstein National Museum. Liechtenstein has a national museum in its capital, Vadosh, and it's housed inside the former administrator's house, which dates all the way back to 1438. Here you'll be able to get information on the history of the country, as well as to learn about its identity in the present day. I bought one of the combined tickets which also gave me access to the treasure chamber of the Principality of Liechtenstein, which is where you'll find crowns, Fabergé eggs and even a Liechtenstein flag which was taken to space on board the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. Number 3. Crossing the Border in some parts of the world, borders can be intimidating places, difficult or time-consuming to cross and patrolled by armed guards. But Liechtenstein's borders are completely open and you can enjoy the novelty of crossing the border on foot. If you're entering from the Box train station in Switzerland, then you'll probably have come this way anyway, but the best place to experience the border, in my opinion, is the Zollstrass Road Bridge. The border runs right down the middle of the Rhine River, and not only can you step between two countries in an instant, but it is also a great place to admire your surroundings, which leads nicely on to... Number 4. Go for a walk and enjoy the scenery. If you're going for the skiing, then it's likely you'll be there during the winter months, but I will recommend going at the end of the summer or early autumn, so not only will you be there during football season, but you'll also maximise your chances of having good weather, meaning you'll be able to fully appreciate and enjoy Liechtenstein's greatest attraction, its scenery. Liechtenstein is an alpine nation, and almost anywhere you look, you'll see the dramatic scene of the Alps mountain range. In the summer, you'll be treated to rolling hills featuring lush green pastures and, like I mentioned before, the River Rhine ties the scene together. If you're a fan of the great outdoors, there aren't many places greater than this principality. Number 5. Explore the rest of the capital. Although hardly a sprawling metropolis, capital city Vadosh is the centre of activity in Liechtenstein. I've previously mentioned the National Museum, which is in the capital, but there are some other things you should see whilst you're there. Although you can't go inside, Vadosh Castle sits atop a hill and overlooks the city. Then there are other museums, including the Kunst Museum, which is a highly regarded art gallery, as well as the Post Museum, which exhibits postage stamps issued by Liechtenstein since 1912. And before you go, don't forget to stop by St. Florin Cathedral. If you've ever visited Liechtenstein, or maybe you're even from this micro nation, drop a comment down below letting me know what your favourite thing to do in Liechtenstein is. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.